On today's episode, we battle some early spring storms while finishing up some final prep work before working the bison. We've also got to check in on the Big Joe Herd and the Dakota Pure Calves to make sure they're ready. We got some ranching it after dark going on right here. Yeah, that's the truth. All right, got the gate shut, so now we'll put, got Dakota Pure Calves caught and ready for tomorrow. We'll have to catch Big Joe on them. It shouldn't be a problem. I hadn't fit them cubes in a couple of days. Let's go. And we had to wrangle everybody's favorite feisty two-year-old ranch hand that didn't want to stop playing in the rain. Oh, snap, yeah. We also make a visit to Doc Parsons' place to pick up a special surprise that just came in from up north of the border. Stay tuned. Oh no, it's luckily, you know, our, the working area over there, it's on the hill, so um, it doesn't hold, but I'll let you know if it rains a bunch, so we'll see. video or whatever you want to okay. do. I need to switch hats. Okay. I'm gonna get some good PTS. There you go. Just about to go live real quick for everybody on the Bison Clips channel. If you haven't checked out Bison Clips yet, it's uh, just Cross Timbers Bison Clips on YouTube. It's our second channel, backup channel, just to showcase some of the uh, favorite moments and highlights from the past in the original ranch that Dusty and Kevin and Marissa have been working on for the past four years now and kind of just condensing them into short form content and some uh, little three to five minute clips for everybody that doesn't have 20, 40 minutes to watch all the full videos. So if you don't have time or if you've already seen some of those videos uh, and you want to catch up on some stuff that you might have missed, don't forget to check those out at Cross Timbers Bison Clips. And then always in those clips, we've got it linked in the description to the full episodes on Dusty's main channel if you're more interested in, uh, in that topic and you want to get the full episode. Yeah, last time we had this uh, trailer loaded up, you were getting rid of Big Joe and moving him over, so. That's true. We're getting rid of anybody, or we just have a nice kinda, little surprise coming? Kind of feels like it. Last time, yeah, it's true, like, same area and everything. No, yeah, I, so I got a phone call, and uh, there's been some stuff happening, uh, and I hadn't said anything to you guys, but there's been some stuff happening for a couple months now, and uh, me and Gerald Parsons, Doc Parsons, my bison guy, you hear that name a lot, I know you do but been chatting a while and uh, he knows a lot of people and has good connections but uh, basically he called me today and our Canadian bison have uh, arrived and it's time to pick them up. They've been here for actually about two weeks at Gerald's at uh, Doc's place and um, they came in on a long trailer load and have been there for a little while and uh, he called and said hey we're working them time to come get them so uh, I mean, <laughs> it's not like we've been busy or anything, but um, uh, yeah, he said, come get them. And so uh, I got to go get our new Canadian bison calves and uh, I can't wait to see them. He said they look awesome and uh, I know where they came from, which is why uh, Doc and I kind of teamed up on this. And so I'm really excited uh, because uh, the people who produce these animals um, are great producers and they have some awesome animals and they're in Oklahoma and they're about to be at the Ponderosa so Cole and Chandler and I and Brooks and Maya got a truckload with the trailer we're gonna go get our new Canadian calves at Doc Parsons place so let's go get them do it to it let's go let's go do it good old lumpy Bye. 
guys. This is his vet clinic. So there's some over there. He's got two herds here. He's got a black herd and a brown herd. How many did you end up getting? 50? That's a thick girl. Yeah, they're wow. thick. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. If you get behind your gate and bring it around. Okay. It's trapped in there. How many, Doc? Okay. Ten. I know, I was like, Marissa, count 10 for me. Let me get mine. Is there 10? Yeah. All right. Yeah, those look good. Hopefully that's what keeps them in the water. The only water always comes in handy. Huh? It's a dung wire always comes in handy. Oh yeah. Just a little bit. Ain't much, but yeah, they do look good. Did they they lose anything when they make that trip? Yeah. Not a little bit water weight. Yeah, they'll lose too much. Really? They were weighing uh, 600 up there and some. And so by the time they got here, they got held up to the border for an hour and a half, a little longer oh, than planned to. And so it took a little while. And, and then he made good time getting down here again. And then they didn't want to get off the truck that night. Oh, he yeah. didn't get here till dark. Dark. He had to wait till the next morning to get them on. So, yeah, they, they come down some, but they've been eating good and come back up. They, uh, do you feed them four way blend or something? Your mm -hmm. blend mix? Yeah, hey, that and hey. Yeah. Oh, it's. Was that lumpy? Yeah. He's still there. It looks real fluffy right now with the hair, but <laughs> no, we're going to. Oh, okay. What do I do? I need to give my calves anything else besides cholesterol? Give that to them too. Yeah. The cows, unless you got some new ones, probably. Not. So triangle nine, and what'd you call the other colostrum? Uh, or not colostrum? Co oh, co oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I know what that is. Okay. Oh, that's true. Anything yeah. new at back so. Okay. Once. And then after that. Okay. Regular. You just do the triangle. Right? Okay. You don't have to do the codex and all. It's a lifetime thing. Just, just oh, it is? Gotcha. I didn't know. Okay. Because we're going to work the ones at uh, my mom and Kevin's first. The Dunbar. That one. And then we'll meet y'all over there at the... <laughs> Then we'll meet y'all at uh over there. Okay. If it rains, I'll let you know. So, but if it rains, what happens? <laughs> you get put on if your boots. He's got his <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm have to get his system shoot is. Oh, it's just what you bring. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's pretty big and heavy. All that blue suit and stuff over there comes out. Oh really? We take it. Uh, Mobile. Yeah. That's uh. That's what it is already. <laughs> yeah. You a good trailer. Huh? Oh yeah. It's pretty much the same as mine. Titan and travel on were one company and then they got the big fight. One guy went one way, another guy. They're about the same, aren't they? Yeah, basically the same. No, I love it. That's awesome. It's a 2008. Yep. 
you know, it, it works. <laughs> so, well, let me go get a checkbook. <laughs> and the fun part. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they are heavy, aren't they? Well, what's the next part? Just, I don't know. I just bought 10 animals from Canada. I never pictured myself doing that until Doc acquired the conversation. But, you know, he always told me if you're, uh, you know, want to do it right, start off with good animals. And I, I knew of this, these uh, name, Wolverine Bison, before, when I got started going to just the conferences and when you go to the sale you hear these names pop up of all these animals um, doing really good in the sale you know placing really well in the sale and selling really well you know at a place like Denver and so when you get to, used to hearing that name and then Doc asked me if I wanted some of the calves I'm like oh my gosh yeah so we're starting off with good Good breeding stock. I started off with Doc's first first five from him, and it's grown from there. And so, super excited to have some Wolverine bison in Oklahoma. So, it'll be good. Can't wait. These put some money into uh, the future right here <laughs> for sure. So, now we're gonna go home and let them out at the Ponderosa, where they're gonna be eventually with. The Dakota Pure Calves and uh, Big Joe and the Cows. They will not go with Big Joe and the Cows for a while. So we want to keep the calves together so they can grow up together and um, have a good chance to thrive and be healthy. So we're going to go let them out before it gets too dark. Stay tuned. Maya, come here, Maya. Maya, come on. Maya, come on. Maya, come on, Maya. Cause him problem. You got some ranching it after dark going on right here. Yeah. That's the truth. All right. Got the gate shut, so now we'll put, got Dakota, pe Dakota Pure Calves caught and ready for tomorrow. We'll have to catch Big Joe and them. It shouldn't be a problem. I had them fit them cubes in a couple of days to get them, get them hyped up for some cubes. Um, so we'll have to catch them tomorrow to work them. And then <coughs> we're gonna let the uh, Canada Calves go right here. The Wolverine Bison. Let's do this. Let's uh, let's get a couple of uh, deals of feed. Have it sit out so when they come in, they'll have feed. Do you want us to open this door? No, I already got them locked up. But I, I need I need a water trough over there. Here, you can use one of these. Make sure it's not busted. Uh, a mineral, or do you want to use a big one? They they won't need much. I'll just use that. And make sure it doesn't have something cracked or anything. 
The hose, Marissa, huh? the hose is running down that fence line. So you'll have to pull it back up to go this way. Have to hold the <laughs> yeah, have to get right? heavy real quick. Well, you know where it's at. <laughs> Bo will do it. What's the end goal of this book? Marissa knows where to put it. <laughs> Just right. ranching it after dark. Just ranching it. Uh, yeah, we'll give them. I've been using these. Oh, Dunbar's old toys. Yeah, Dunbar's old toys are being used for feed bins. It's better than on the ground or. This will, they'll be happy when they come here and they've got feed. Make them fill at home. Make all the other boxes mad. Look at them. They're like, what the heck? <laughs> They're just sitting there at the fence. Yeah. <laughs> we gotta get you some ranching boots. Yeah. These are my ranching boots. <laughs> they'll come over here and they'll be ready to mingle. Single and ready to mingle. Yeah. You know, they'll do all their sniffs and smells. And it'll be their first time to meet some uh, Canadian bison. So, you guys ready to let them go? Let's do it. They're about to meet some Canada. Oh, look, 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 look. Oh, sorry. So, this is the one thing that Sony, this is, it sees in the dark. Dude, that's, that's pretty, pretty, yeah. They're not going to be running through here or nothing. All right, you ready to let them out? <laughs> Marissa? You ready to let them out, eh? Hey, Brooks. Let them out, eh? Let them run a boot. A boot? Let them run a boot for tennis. <laughs> What'd you say? So, the Canucks have arrived. Nuts. Wolverine bison. Canada. There's, hey. some, there's some chunky girls. Yeah, they are. Let's just hope they get off the trailer. When they came down the first time, they came came in at like midnight and didn't get off the trailer till the next day. Oh my goodness. So, this side of the fence or that side of the fence? fence? Am I good? Yeah, you're good. Yeah. There. Look out, Tim. I got it. Thanks for all the help. Well, can't really see them right now, but in the daylight, when you get the reveal well, of what they actually look like, I we'll think, show them to you. Yeah, he's pretty, pretty surprised. They're, yeah. they look good. They're definitely impressive animals. So, got a big future plan with them. So, can't wait. Yeah, you guys need to see them in the daylight. I need to see them in the daylight.
You got them pinned up already? <laughs> no, I don't have them pinned up already. <laughs>